Probably the most important feature in an X-ray spectrum is the characteristic peaks. And so the characteristic peaks are these unusually high spikes in intensity at very, very specific wavelengths. So this one over here and this one over here. And the peaks have names. We call this very high peak over here K alpha and this one over here K beta. So how exactly do these um, peaks form? So to understand this, let us look at the energy level diagram of the bombarding or rather the bombarded metal. And so what happens, okay, uh, at the start, okay, let me remove these guys first, okay. So what happens at the start is that most of your metal electrons are at the ground state, like this. And so when a bombarding electron comes in and it collides with one of these guys, okay, it's probably going to be energetic enough to completely ionize this fella, which means what you're left with is you have a vacancy at the ground state. And so what's going to happen is that electrons from the excited states will say, oh, there is a vacancy and I want to take it. And so somebody or an electron at the n equals to two level might go down and occupy this, this, uh, this vacancy. And in the process we have seen, this will release a photon of specific wavelength. And of course, the energy of this photon is simply equal to the energy difference between the n equals to 2 and n equals to 1 level. Now, similarly, a photon on a slightly more rare occasion may be able to go down from n equals to 3 to n equals to 1. And this would also release a photon of specific wavelength. Now, imagine that this process repeats again and again and again. You keep bombarding electrons at the ground state, you keep ionizing them, and electrons keep coming down. The two most likely transitions are the two that I've mentioned, this one and this one. And so there will be a large amount of photons of this nature and this nature being released. So... The 2 to 1 transition, we call that the K alpha, which is corresponding to this peak. And the 3 to 1 transition is the K beta photon, which is corresponding to this peak over here. And again, because of the sheer number of these photons being released, that is why there is a spike in their intensity. And so, here is the thing. Because of the unique energy levels of every single metal, we expect K alpha and K beta to be unique for every single metal. And so if we look at an, uh, an X-ray spectrum of an unknown sample and compare that with some known samples, we will be able to identify the nature of the metal that is being bombarded.